Hey, Shad here with SpeedX, the fast growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncreate the 6D ATR2. Before we jump in and give you the full rundown on this ATR2 from 6D, go ahead and subscribe. That helps us keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. And if at any point you decide, hey, I like this Shad guy, I'd like to shop at Speed Addicts, don't worry, there's a link to purchase in the description below. Okay, the 6D ATR2, they've made a good thing better here. Who is this helmet for? Well, it's for folks that do not want to make any compromises when it comes to safety, especially racers, people on the track. It's just kind of a matter of when, not if, you're gonna go down. And 6D was the pioneer and still is the top innovator when it comes to rotational energy management. What does that mean? Well, for decades, helmets were really a very simple technology, hard shell with an interior foam liner that was one piece, and they worked okay in those linear impacts. Turns out most motorcycle accidents aren't just linear, there's accelerate or um, angular momentum involved when you hit, and it turns out that angular momentum causes a lot of concussions and even some more severe brain injuries because you have tearing and shearing and just bad stuff you don't want to happen to your gray matter. The founders at 61 to make a safer helmet, the way they did that was uncoupling the outer shell from your head and allowing slippage with their ODS technology. So that uses a series of these dampers. We're gonna show you that in more detail to allow slippage. It's a dual liner setup. 6D even teamed up with the NFL during the development of the ATR2. The NFL actually had a program working with companies across industries to try to come up with new technology to prevent traumatic brain injuries. That's what it's all about. It's all about safety. So if you go with 6D, you can be assured they're doing their best to innovate and keep your gray matter safe. Let's go over some of the high points of the ATR2. First up, the shell construction. This is a tri-material carbon Kevlar fiberglass. That's the typical kind of makeup of most high-end motorcycle helmets as opposed to the less expensive polycarbonate. The price tag at the ATR2 at this moment starts at $695 for solids and goes up from there. This is a graphic which is going to cost you a little bit more. This is the Super Patriot. Pretty sweet. Matte finish on one side. We got gloss colors on the other. This has been their top seller for a minute. One of the key metrics they improved on on the ATR2 over the ATR1 was the weight. So they brought the weight down to just about three and a quarter pounds, which makes it a lightweight motocross helmet. The original ATR one's a bit heavier at like 3.3 uh, 3, or 3.75. So a significant weight improvement. The helmet is DOT and ECE certified, comes with a three year warranty and three shell size. They definitely improve the fit. It's an intermediate oval, runs true to size extra small all the way up for th th through 3x so if you got a bigger head they've got you covered there go buy that sizing chart at speedax.com and remember if you buy your next helmet from speedax not only will you get the whole shot in your next moto but we offer no cost return so if this atr2 doesn't fit the way you want you know we can customize with different cheek pads and all that sort of stuff or you just decide it's not for you, you need a whole different size, a couple clicks at Speed Addicts and you got a free return label, get your refund, get your different size, give us a shot, we'll treat you like family, just make sure the helmet's new in the original packaging, not worn on the machine. Okay, enough with my shameless plugs, let's go in to what makes this ATR2 awesome. We've got more intakes and more airflow compared to the ATR1. We've got a ton of brow vents and these aren't just going to nowhere like some other helmets where they put in cool looking vents for show. These actually blow down onto your face and into the shell. One of the fringe benefits of this dual layer ODS technology is because you have those two floating layers of EPS, airflow can rush through there and move through the ports and ducts and keep you nice and cool. We've got a chin bar, three vent chin bar setup plus gills, so there's two more. And then we've got exhaust, so more exhaust. They've got the two below, up high and then these new ones across the midsection. So this helmet just flows a lot of air. It's lighter, it's just overall a lot more comfortable and nicer place to be than the ATR1. The profiles actually improved significantly as well. So that was one thing on the ATR1 they wanted to work on, get it slimmer, more low profile, less weight and uh, all that sort of good stuff. Another awesome feature that we'll show you more about in a minute is that the EPS liner can actually be rebuilt. So if you have an accident in this helmet and the shell is not compromised, you just need the, the EPS liner uh, replaced. 6D will actually do that for you for a small fee. They'll inspect the shell, make sure the shell is in good shape and they can rebuild the liner. I, I believe that price tags around the $150 mark-ish. 
Uh, don't quote me on that. Somewhere in there. So that's nice insurance when you're investing, you know, six to seven hundred dollars in a helmet here. Um, that's something that no one else does. Let's talk about this uh, visor. We have an adjustable visor with uh, with these alloy screws that are pretty cool. These are meant to shear in an accident, and they do include one extra set in the box. I'll show you that in a second. So we got three screws. We got fully adjustable. Uh, I already showed you the ventilation. We have a nice big goggle port, even a little bit bigger than the ATR1. That's great because it fits that newer generation of really big goggles. We've got the Roost Guard, and we have an EP, EPP liner on the collarbone impact area. So that's going to protect your sternum and collarbone in case of impact. We know with motocross, head tends to go down and hit that. So they're one of the first companies that put that EPP foam down on the bottom of the helmet and also in this chin bar area. This has like the most chin bar padding I've ever seen in a motocross helmet. So it's really going to protect your face should you go into it. And you see how wide it is because it's got this extra, extra lip. So lots of face protection. Keep your face pretty, folks. Let's show you what's in the package. So, of course, you get the helmet. You get this extra set of hardware with the key, which is pretty cool. And then you get a deluxe carrying bag with zippers, compartments, stickers. They hook you up. You're spending a lot of money. It's nice that they do that, but uh, you're paying for it, right? So <clears throat> those are the goodies. Let's flip this helmet over and see what we're working with on the inside. We have titanium bits. They use titanium on the D-rings, which is cool, and on the chin strap anchors. So let's open this up and show you inside. The cheek pad system is an emergency quick release system. Should you be injured, EMS has to remove the helmet from your head. They're going to use those pull tabs to safely remove these cheek pads before they try to get the helmet off your head. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way and unclip these. These are cool max. They are antimicrobial. They'll keep you fresh between rides, but every once in a while, wash these things in the sink, let them air dry. 60 does have a number of different cheek pad thicknesses. So if the crown feels good, but you feel like the cheek pads need to be dialed in, that's something we can help you out with. The liners, there are some different options within the different shell sizes to fine tune. So if you ever have questions, call up, talk to a speed addict. We'll help you out. Okay, cheek pads are out of the way. Let's pull this comfort liner out and show this to you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there is your comfort liner. Lots of mesh, lots of holes. Let that airflow get onto your head and keep you cool because when you're not cool, you make mistakes. We don't want that to happen. You see the channels and ports here. That's going to allow the air to flow through the helmet and move between the ducts in between these foam layers, these EPS layers. You can see this is layer one. This is layer two that's attached to the shell. Layer one is floating on their ODS setup. And you can see when I squeeze that, it kind of rocks a little bit. That's all about decoupling the shell from your head so that when you hit, there is slippage. Maybe we'll even uh, clip in some cool photos whoops, of that technology in action from 6D. Okay, <clears throat> let's look at what this looks like when you cut it away. We have a slightly different setup from the original uh, 6D ATR1. Here's the ATR1 technology. They, this is the original technology, ODS technology with those elastomeric isolation dampers. Well, they've added on and made a good thing better and improved the energy absorption and management by 30%. So when it comes to the safety upgrade, you're getting 30% more protection on the ATR2 versus the ATR1. They've done that with a couple of things. They have these new um, progressive, progressive dampening towers are in here. They also have this cage you can see with the mesh and they also have those uh, those same dampers in place that's going to allow that inner EPS to move without the, the shell attached to it. So that is the magic. That is the cool cutaway on the ATR2. You can see it all sliced and diced. So if you do not want to compromise safety, you're racing, you're taking diggers, you've had an accident before. That's our number one customer for 6D, actually someone that's already had a severe accident, maybe had a, a, a serious concussion. They call up asking about safety and motocross helmets. We point them to 6D. ATR2 is the latest from greatest from those guys. Head over to speedx.com right now to shop for these. Remember, 6D is going to back this up with a full three-year warranty and no cost returns when you shop at Speed Addicts. We appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.